now we have to escape. Uh, we really don't have options here. This is the only p way we can go. Uh, apparently, if you are not the Emperor, this is not how you get to the palace. Get out of here. I will cover your escape. No, Thank I'm... Thank you. Now we need to get to the sewers. I'll explain why when we get there. I, I would require some explaining here. Why were there the demons in... Why were they the guards? You guys know something that I don't know? Yeah, why are all of them these writhing deceivers? Why are the guards all writhing deceivers? And scaled mages. Magi. Die. <laughs> these guys are not... See now, normally I would use um, whirlwind on on the vases and that kind of stuff, uh, but I've already gotten the achievement, which was really the only reason that I was doing it. If you want to see what it looks like, it pretty much looks the same, <laughs> except you just destroy things, and it doesn't go flying nearly as much, so it's not nearly as fun. Uh, I do want to destroy all of that though. You never know when something might spawn. Actually, this is normal difficulty, so I don't think anything spawns out of them except for... Are blocking our way. We must destroy their summoning construct. Yes, we have to get the summoners. Even if that means taking a few hits trying to get there. Oh, shit. These guys can last. There we go. Last one down. As long as you keep on giving me revenge, I'm just going to keep using it. And you will keep dying, trust me. You will keep dying. Oh, there's still one left. There we go. And we get our first greater health potion. Uh, how much does that heal? That heals a thousand life, so still not a full heal for me, but it's pretty damn close. Get the hell out of here. I don't want anything to do with that. Seem distant at times. That is not my intention. There is nowhere I would rather be. Truly. Truly. Everything depends on this. Why does it depend on me? Is that is that a question I'm just not supposed to ask? Why why is my guy so important? Especially since in Diablo 2 it was multiple heroes, like like it said before. Uh, Belial, oh, sorry, not Belial. Duriel was killed by heroes plural. Uh, the the canon is that you teamed up with somebody and beat it. Spellbook of the Bear. That is an I that is a uh, that's some oh it's for the wizard. Keep on thinking that's for the the Templar the spell books, but no no that is the wizard. I'm thinking of something else that I don't think show up for a while. We still haven't gotten one of the uh, one of the follower exclusives. There has to be a way into the sewers from here. There clearly is on my map, and I think. Here is an infinite spawner. Um, I could be wrong though, but it. If you don't do this fast, you know, they just keep on coming. I'll take, I'll take the ring, that's for sure. I do want to, once again, break all the stuff. You are not allowed to have stuff after you try to kill me. You cannot have any. Vases, jars, no, 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 all that. Oh, there is a ring out of there. So there you go. It does occasionally spawn something. This leads to the sewers. Even though I swore they did a patch update and they're like, we took that out. But no, no, they didn't. Wait, there's like stairs leading down out of here. Yeah, Leah's no fo longer following me. Whatever shall I do? And there's not an infinite spawner here? No. Oh. Felt that way before. And you can't, yeah, you can't even bother going down the stairs. No, can't do it. Can't destroy that one either. Fine, into the sewers we go. And then, oh, got a waypoint. I found my mother, Adria. She's alive. What? The Imperial Guard is holding her somewhere down here. We will find her. I'm glad that's over. Imperial Guards got her. Oh, and here we have more new enemies, stinging swarms. So Magda was telling the truth. Somehow I knew my mother was alive. I always knew it. How but would you, you know never that? Knew her. Be wary, Leah. Things are not as they seem sometimes. 
And we have enemies dropping from the skies. The Bone Warriors. They're just your standard skeletons. And we have bloated corpses. They do. These are destroyable objects that do have stuff in them from time to time. Uh, but they're kind of gross. Do they have to take out the debris? No, they can just fly right over it. Good. I was about to say, it may they should just be able to go right over it. And they do. They do. Is there anything up here worthwhile? No. Uh, the sewers, they're gross. But once again, act two. We go, we're in the desert area and we have to go into the sewers. Strange, isn't it? Uh, but we'll just keep going. Uh, there's quite a few things in here, if I remember correctly, that I, I, that I want to do properly, but have to we find have the right things first. I don't remember how how late in the sewers they are. We're gonna be here for a while if I remember correctly. The sewers are much larger this time. This is a bigger city even though it doesn't really seem that way. Uh, but it does have an emperor so that means that it must be big. Empires are never small. Especially when it's the city. Whatever. The trades! They are new. The accursed were created when a necrotic plague spread through Kezistan centuries ago. The infected watched in terror as their flesh blackened and died. The strongest medicines could not stop the decay. Eventually, they fell into a dormant state and their bodies were piled up in dark and forgotten places where they could rest undisturbed. They're apparently left over from a plague a long time ago. I picked up something I didn't want. Uh, they will poison you after they die. Very similar to Act 2 in Diablo 2. I swore something was going to fall there. There we go. There it is. There they are. Uh, there were the, uh, the corpses there. This time they're bloated before they were zombies or mummies. Something somewhere like that. You coming? Leah, you are not allowed to stop following me now. Is there anything over here? Oh no, that was just a spinning bone. Hooray. And now we have a three-way, well, four-way intersection. I'm going to go this way because it's probably going to be the shortest. Adria should be up here. It is the shortest, but it actually leads me where I want to go. And therefore, we are going to be avoiding it. And we're going to fully explore the rest of this first. Because hopefully there will be something good for me to find. That leads further on. This should probably... Ah! Lead me to diseased bodies. Uh, these are the spawners for the betrayed. As you can see, they do hurt you if you stand in them too long. So don't try to stand in them after you defeat them. Just get the hell out of there. Ooh, an envoy of Belial. And he apparently issued orders. My exemplary servants, keep the witch alive until she talks. Pain will loose her tongue, but only to a point. Remember what happened with the vizier's assistant? It was a pleasurable time, I admit. But the man had only incoherent babble and bloody strands of pus spilling from his lips by the end. No, get back here. You're not allowed to run. Damn it, I cleared his path. Nope, oh, get back here. No, 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 no. There we go. Down you go. Now it's time to get the spawner. <laughs> I will deal with all of you eventually. And I probably picked up a couple things I don't want. That's fine. I picked up another one there. We'll deal with all of that. You didn't draw very much. The uh... Oh, shit. We got electric eels. They can spawn. Uh... They're, they're mostly a secondary enemy. They don't usually show up by themselves. The electric eels are insidious pests that have taken root in the oases surrounding Chaldeum. Known for their stinging strikes, these creatures are particularly dangerous when they attack in large numbers. It is said that raw eel has become a delicacy among Chaldeum's elite, but I assure you... Over here, we could use your help. But I assure you, these rumors are baseless. And here we get an event. Uh, I will be using this, uh, doing this event, I should say. 
We think we have found a haunted chest spoken of in legends. Why do you need my help? In case the tales are true, of course. What if it's haunted? You would not mind opening it, would you? No problem. Do it. I was going to do it even if you guys didn't ask. Who disturbs my sleep? Join me in death and torment! And we have found Raziel, the Dark One. He is, uh... Well, he hits hard, but outside of that, he's not that difficult. And we can grab all this stuff. Clean more hide breaches, uh, which is so much better than what was in the chest. It looks like he killed those guys. So, they never got what was in the chest, which was just a pittance of money. It wasn't that much at all. And another sling log. Nothing I can do with that. So, we'll just move on. And now we can go the way that we were supposed to, which is over here with Leah. She wasn't in our party for any of that, but we didn't really need her that much at all. Into the wretched pit. Tell us about the Black Soul Stone. We know of the three that the Haradrim used to trap the primeval. What is the purpose of this one? Your master Belial has good reason to fear it. Leave her alone. Black soul stone. So there's another soul stone floating around there? Oh, either way, we have to kill this guy and then we can try to discuss what this black soul stone is all about. Now you can't do damage to me. Damn it, he's a teleporter. No, you're done. You are done, sir. Nicely done, Adria. You actually helped me out for once. I actually used you. You were worthwhile for something. Now let's blow up all this lantern oil and barrels and all that kind of stuff, and then we can go down there and deal with her when we are done. I have more important things to do, like destroying rats' nests. This is always important stuff. There we go. Blow up for me. And there. Okay. Now we can talk to you. Do you have anything good to say about what just happened? Adria, how you doing? Leah, my daughter. You know who I am? My darling, I've watched over you all your life. But I never dared get close because of the danger that always shadows me. It is not safe here. Let's move. And then she just warps out of here, and we all have to follow. So, go back to the hidden camp and talk to Adria. That I can do. Scoundrel wants to talk again. You're just full of information, aren't you? First, I will talk to Tyrael, though. Tell me about the destruction of Mount Ariat. Ariat. Well, they'll say it. I heard that you were there 20 years ago, when Mount Ariat was destroyed. Baal. The Lord of Destruction sought to enslave mankind to the power of hell by corrupting the sacred world stone. Unthinkable though it was, I was forced to destroy it. And my homeland with it. Understand, friend, that entire worlds burned as heaven and hell fought over the world stone. Ariat's destruction was regrettable. And believe me, I paid a high cost as well. I bet she did. He has more to say now. Where have you been since? What became of you after you destroyed the World Stone? The resultant explosion dispersed the light and harmony of my angelic being. Without form or shape, I restored myself within the realm of Pandemonium. It took me twenty of your years. But finally, I returned home to the High Heavens. Were you welcomed as a hero? Hardly. Believing my actions had endangered creation, the Angiris Council put me, the Archangel of Justice, on trial. I knew then that heaven was doomed, unless I could enlist the aid of mankind against the coming onslaught of hell. Angels don't sound like the best people out there, surprisingly. Fine, Adria, what do you have to say now? I'm surprised Cain never told you why I left. He knew I was called to fight the Lords of Hell, and I knew he would keep you safe. He's gone now. Then it's fate that we have been reunited. Cain's work, your work, is my war. According to the Herodric texts, only two evils remain. 
Belial is here in Chaldeum, and Asmodan has yet to reveal himself. And now it looks like we need to talk to Leah some more, but once again, I'm going to talk to Adria first. Adria is, well, yeah, she's, she's a pretty important plot character here. Do you regret abandoning Leah? What? No, I never saw it that way. She grew up in safety, while I risked my life to find the key to our salvation. It was the sacrifice that I had to make. In any case, Leah will meet her full potential under my guidance. Do you not have things to do? I'm not above bugging you about these kind of stuff. No, you abandoned her when she was a baby, Adria. You did. What about you and Cain? How well did you know Cain? For a time, during the darkening of Tristram, we spent many nights in the Tavern of the Rising Sun, discussing his Herodric texts and the varied arcana I'd collected during my travels. Had you seen him since then? Only from afar. From time to time our paths would cross, and I would catch glimpses of Leah as she grew. It broke my heart that I could not reveal myself and raise her as my own. Of course. Of course it did. You abandoned her, though. Alright, how'd you get captured? How did the Imperial Guard find you? I was trying to steal out of the city. I'd return to gather some things before setting out to recover Zoltan Kuhl's head, and the guards found me. Who, whose head? Zoltan Kuhl? Am I supposed to know who that is? The guards were asking you about this Black Soul Stone. I remember reading about it in Uncle's journal, but it didn't seem important. No, but it is. It is the key to defeating evil forever. It was created by the mage Zoltan Kuhl to trap demonic souls. Yes, he was a renegade Haradrim, dismembered by his brethren before he could activate the Soul Stone. His head was sealed away in the Dolgar Oasis. We must retrieve it. Because if we're to use the Soul Stone to defeat Belial and Asmodan, Zoltan Kuhl must live again. We rescued Leah's mother, the witch, Adria. She told us of the Black Soul Stone, an artifact that could destroy evil forever. Of all mortals, I have been given the task of retrieving it. Oh wow, looks like we have a lot to say here, but looks like we need to hear from about Zoltan Cool first.